Not sure the button I hit, but we'll call this part two. So make sure not to drop these nuts down underneath your uh, fuel tank. It's right below. She's loose. That'll drop down that steering assembly, I believe. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And now this section will come out. Reveal what we're looking at here. Let's see. should have done I'm not sure I probably have to do what I just did anyway but also need to remove that quick connect uh oh, this is gonna be tough on video with let's see if I can get my hand my other hand this is gonna be really hard to do on video maybe I can use my right on to crawl up in there or left one so up inside here first so without doing a video it's easy but I don't know if I'm even getting this on video I'll show you what I did so that piece right there that metal uh, assembly that just uh, just like your some of your other cables it has a slide fitting on it. Ah, I can't. Boy, is this going to be some... You're probably going to get motion sick from watching this video, so I hope you get some benefit out of it. But anyway, let's see if I can find my, where am I at in my video here. Where's my hand? So this thing right here, this tip, you got to pull that down, spring-loaded. Pull that down and pull it off. And it's going to pull it off of this nipple right there, bottom of the center of the screen. And it'll just fall right off. And now your entire cable is free. But now that I'm looking at it, I believe we may need to pull this through the inside of the ski. Yep, feels like it's wanting to pull through this way. Let's see, which would mean what we'll do is we'll, yeah, so that's going to pull through that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this turnbuckle off of here just by putting a, uh, looks like a 10 mil wrench on there. So you got this nut, you got this nut right here. So go ahead and spin that. Let's see, that should be to the right, spin this nut to the right first. Uh, what'd you call it? I guess clockwise is your face in the back of the ski. And then this one should thread off counterclockwise, I believe. All right, so we got the crescent wrench on there. And then the Yamahas usually come with this 10 and 12 mil. And that nut that's on there is a 10. I'm not going to be able to do this on camera just because I can't hold both these pieces, but I'm going to go ahead and turn this uh, this wrench uh, clockwise and it should let loose. So I'll let you know if that's not correct. So you're using this crescent wrench to hold the turnbuckle itself in place as you turn this nut clockwise just to put a gap there. Now you should be able to just turn this this uh, assembly here off of this threaded, uh, come on, this threaded cable in. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a channel locks or something on here just to hold it firm. Uh, doesn't really matter on this one, but if, if you're on your like new one, I'd probably put something in between there, like a piece of cloth, just so you don't mar it up. Don't wanna mar that surface up. And uh, turn this guy off. All right, so now we have our channel, now we have our channel locks gripping the, uh, the smooth portion of the shaft here as to not mar up any of the uh, threads and your channel your uh, crescent wrench on the turnbuckle itself you don't need to worry about this nut here at all anymore and uh, i'm going to go ahead and turn this one counterclockwise and it'll spin this entire assembly including the turnbuckle off of this uh, shaft if you will Put my foot up in there just shit's going on so we're just basically just spinning this thing off and this is all we're doing. The shaft is staying stable. And once you get it to a certain point, you'll easily just be able to finish spinning that one out. Now I'll spin this one off uh, counterclockwise. Remove all this and you'll be able to pull the whole uh, cable through. And just the end stage for video purposes. Now don't lose any of these parts. You're gonna need this on your new cable. Uh, Sometimes, well the SBT ones, if you buy it from there, they're not gonna come with a lot of these expensive, these are pretty pricey to buy these sometimes in the $20, $30 range. So let's just take all this stuff, set it aside nice and neat and orderly. If you want, you can take this assembly and kind of put it in the order that it all came out. Set that aside so you put a little video documentary of how that all came out of there. And now this guy is just gonna push on through to the inside of your ski. So there it is, exposed in, pull it out from the front, and we'll continue to pull it out. Let's see, all I'm going to do is, let's see, this trash is all just so real, that cable is super tight, not flexible at all, but you want to start it to the outside of your ski first it off and there's your cable you're gonna need that end again so we'll get our new cable I bought one off of eBay uh, from freshwater here and uh, I'll go ahead and see oh, look at that they gave me an extra part that they didn't have to give me that was nice of them and these guys actually gave me pretty much the entire assembly so, pretty decent. Okay, now let's go ahead and dress up these ends first. I'll put on the uh, the lead edge. So what we need to do yet is remove these two Phillips head screws. This bracket here is gonna fall into two pieces and then just watch where it comes from. There's a slot right here. It's like a uh, indention in this thing that's actually going to go into this gap right here. So it becomes pretty obviously, but remember the the direction of these wings basically faces forward on the ski. All right, so with those two screws out, this thing splits in half, and that's what you're left with. So right there's that gap, and you'll see on the back side here, that little uh, bridge is basically what goes into this indentation here. So it's pretty dummy for if you put it on there and slide her up, and click right into place, put your two Phillips head screws in. Okay, there you go. Once you're all cranked down tight, you can see this thing spins freely for alignment here. Now, this end's ready to go. This end's ready to go. Now we gotta prep this end out. So obviously we had these parts on our other one. We're gonna head and remove this one, this one, this one, the plug. This is a broken plug, so I'll reuse that other one. That's why we keep this stuff. Get this out of your way, and I don't see the, oh, there's the nut. So we'll take this off just like we did on the other one. So again, this is the back end of the cable. Now, when you push in the cable all the way, you'll notice it terminates, it, it bottoms out right there. So you're gonna have this little bit of thread yet that is unused, zero purpose to it. So that's a good place to clamp down your uh, crescent wrench right there that's not going to screw anything up. This nut, uh, you may want to mark that spot right there because that's that's where this is going to fit perfectly. So just leave that there, crescent wrench, and turn this turnbuckle off. Quick shop note, this 
little uh, clamp right here goes right into this chamber on the back side of this cable. All right, now that we get the cable all dressed down, bring it back through. Now, I guess it was underneath these cables to begin with, so let's go ahead and go back where she belongs. My camera's about to die, so I lost my flash, unfortunately. Back through here where it belongs. You'll, I mean, you remember where that goes, so you figure that out. So another little shop note: the the end that I'm trying to force through right underneath that waterline hose there is the hole for the cable. It is not wanting to go through there very willingly, so I'm going to go ahead and spray the end with a little uh, PB blaster, WD-40, same thing, make it a little bit slicker. Okay, and that's exactly what it needed: a little bit of slickness. Pull through a little bit extra far. That's going to make this want to dump into the bottom, into your hole a little bit easier. Leave this case. Oh, it's hard to do one hand. I apologize about the video. That wants to go up on that side. Pull it back into the hole. We're going to go ahead and connect this end first. Back the way it was. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fumble fart around. And we're going to connect, dang cable go. We're going to connect this end here where it belongs on that nipple up in there. Another quick little shop note before you install this, make sure and spin this thing clockwise down the barrel as far as you can. Turn this one until it bottoms out, basically. And then crank that nut back up counterclockwise to secure this in place otherwise it's loose to do that you're going to put your crescent wrench on the back end here as you turn this with your 10 mil okay now we got that connected up on the nipple up there uh, easiest way i found is right arm through this hole with my legs up in this area my my hip down in here so i get my longest reach possible right hand on the uh the little bippy there to pull the spring loaded thing down and uh, it flipped right on. So now we just have to connect that bracket with the two bolts, uh, two, uh, two nuts. Okay, now with those two nuts back in place, back to the rear of the ski. And we'll assemble these parts 